I'm sure you've heard the age-old saying, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. When life hands you something sour, make something sweet. In order to make lemonade, you need the right tools. If I just handed you a lemon and all you had was your bare hands, I don't think you'd make good lemonade. All you'd have was sour juice. Even if you have some of the right tools or even the wrong ones, you'll just end up making lemon juice. In order to make the sweet tasting drink that we all know and love, you need a few tools. Specifically, a strainer to get rid of the nasty seeds, some water, and some sugar. These things send you on the right track towards making some sweet tasting lemonade. So we know what we need when life gives us lemons, but what about when life gives you people? What if those people are sour or angry, or what if they're hurting? If you don't have the right tools, we can often make things worse. Here are six quick tips that you can use to help build relationships in your life. The first one is openness. Stepping out of our comfort zone to initiate and sustain relationships in a context of differences. The ability to welcome people into your presence and make them feel safe. This requires us to see people as children of God, loved by Him. The second is acceptance. You can't communicate value and esteem to others unless they feel welcomed and they find themselves feeling safe. This requires for us to be open with people. Romans 15, 7 says, Accept one another then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God. What does it mean that Christ accepted you? And how can we accept others? The third one is trust. You can't build trust with another person until they feel that they have been accepted by you, until they feel that you value them as a child of God. This is the ability to build confidence in a relationship so that both parties believe that the other will not intentionally hurt them, but will act in their best interest. The fourth is learning. You can't learn from another person until you have built trust with them. People won't share important information with someone that they don't trust especially cross-culture or cross-religion or cross-ethics. This requires us to be good listeners. The fifth one is understanding. You can't understand another person until you have learned from them and eventually with them. A learning attitude signals humility and a willingness to identify with others. This helps to break down walls and prejudices and, and stereotypes and helps to build strong relationships. The sixth one is serving. It's really challenging to serve someone that we don't understand or that we don't have a relationship with. Sometimes we can even cause more harm than good. Serving others is a great attitude. With these tools and abilities, I think we can better serve others. It's all about putting their needs before ours, learning from them, and with them. Question for you to discuss. How did Jesus emulate these different qualities or tools? Say, with the woman at the well, or the woman caught in adultery, with his disciples or the tax collectors, and with the many other people that he came across throughout his life. When life gives us lemons, we make lemonade. What do you do when life gives you people? lemons.